Okay, it's time for the illustrious Cypress Hill, and we're going to go in depth with Cypress Hill 4, which was released just about 20 years ago. Now, <clears throat> they had a really acclaimed debut, and they were one of the people, I know I kind of gave it a bad score, but it is still very a monumental album just for what it did for West Coast and rap in general. It actually did. It was just like The Chronic. It really kind of paved the road and made California interesting. And so the problem with it was, was a lot of people did not see their subsequent albums as classic material. So Be Real, Send Dog, DJ Muggs, and I think maybe a couple other cats um, they continued to release records, but, you know, the success that they had in the very early 90s did not really happen, just because Temples of Boom what, did not really chart that high, I think. Throw Your Sets in the Air was one of the ones released. Now, obviously, you know, that's not gonna reach radio very well, but, um... You know, by by the time they got to Cypress Hill 4, um, the thing about it was was they were becoming more of like underground type stuff, and that that has to be noted because it's really rather exceptional. This album, I like it quite a bit. This very well could be the second 10 out of 10 I've given them between Temples of Boom and this one. That would be. You know, for you know, two for two. Plus, I do enjoy most of their works. So, continuing further with the stuff that they've done, it's going to be interesting. To see how they made their works in the last decade. But it's still stoner raps. It's still underground sounding, and it it may have lost some of that California vibe on this album. But you know, they're just as dangerous. So know that, and. Can you smoke to this? The answer is, is, of course you can. And there's some brilliant ones to do that for. So one of which is High Times, Tequila Sunrise, Dr. Green Thumb, and Checkmate. Those are all ones that I recommend. And I'd probably also say pre Prelude to a Come Up. So production, like, now this was something... Yeah, I really enjoyed this just because, you know, if you thought they were kind of similar to the G-Funk type stuff, I do think that this album carries itself as this is after, you know, West Coast was kind of calming down, Dr. Dre was nowhere in sight, and, you know, obviously it was, they kept afloat. It just did not make a lot of waves. That's the only thing about it. I've been trying to do albums like that just to prove that when people say, well, they sucked after this, the answer is, is they never really did. I mean, you can say that, well, this is just for the hardcore, but I think it's really most people just were not developed enough to listen to it at that point because I do think if it had been just a few years prior I probably would not have liked this album and you know I have no problem saying that but um you know you just have to check in with it if you were 25 and the last time you thought about listening to it and you're 31 now perfect time to consider it so um, the Unheard Song, well, I'll talk a little bit about production. I, fe I felt like Audio X or Audio 10 was a really great one. Tequila Sunrise probably has one of the best beats on here. Dr. Green Thumb really thumps. And I also feel like feature presentations got some grim material. Lightning Strikes is an extremely good one. And Looking Through the Eye of a Pig is another one. But the unheard songs, which are songs that you may not have heard, but probably need to, I do feel like this entire album needs to be checked out. So, out of 17 songs, I liked 11, plus two almost songs. So the four songs I did not like were From the Window of My Room, 
Steel Magnolia, I Remember That Freak Bitch, and 16 Men Till There's No Men Left. But we'll talk about some of the 11 I did like. Tequila Sunrise, really good. Go for that one. Prelude, Prelude to a Come Up, that one. I really I enjoyed that. And that's one of the best beats on here. I feel it's just so haunting. It's really is extreme. That one really works. Checkmate. That one's really kind of quick and to the point. It's different from what Cypress Hill has done. Dr. Green Thumb, I think, is one that people have heard. Like I said, that one is thumping. Lightning Strikes is kind of real, you know, more, it's not lazy. High Times is, of course, a great smoking song. I think too many people would enjoy that. And feature presentation, like I said, is pretty out there. The two almost songs are Riot Starter, which I feel like maybe that production is a little bit too, you know, it, it really sounds kind of like disorganized, really kind of crazy. So you may like that one. And the other one is going out, going all out. So, but yeah, I'm thinking, you know, 13 out of 17 is definitely a 10. But, you know, 11 out of 17 is about an 8. So I'm going to give it, basically, I will say it's a 10 just because I'm certain that I'll like those songs. The only problem with it is, the really only problem with this album is just saying how many different songs are going to vibe with people who are just casual listeners. That's really the only thing is, you know, when a, an artist kind of starts to lose some of their fans, it becomes only the people who've been there since day one and that sort of thing. So as far as attracting new people, it's a little bit difficult, but I do feel like High Times, Dr. Green Thumb, um, Prelude to a Come Up, Checkmate, Tequila Sunrise, Lightning Strikes. These are all some amazing ones for that sort of crowd. So just keep that in mind. You'll know the good ones. I mean, you just have to pick out the best ones for it. But, you know, out of 17 songs, I'd say probably about 8 or so you can play around newcomers. So, yeah, it gets a 10. The future, I really don't know what Cypress Hill has been up to. Be Real did drop a mixtape which I have yet to review, which I will do. Serial Killers. The Social Score, I'll give it a 5.5, so I'll give it a 6.5 Social. And, you know, can it be topped? I think the answer is probably not. You know, this and Temples of Boom, you need to go out and get these. So subscribe for more fun, 10 and 6.5 and Social.